This video provides a quick tour of features for managing the JASP Report Server and includes the following topics. Folders and multi-tenancy. The server contains a database repository that organizes content into folders. Depending on your Jasper Report Server license, it may include an additional folder structure of tenant organizations that isolate users into their own partition of the server. Users, roles, and access controls. Users may be defined on the server or come from an external authentication system. Roles are used to group users with similar access to various parts of the server, where access controls can be defined at folder and object levels. Export-Import The contents of the server can be exported to an external file. This comes in handy when you need to create a copy of the server content or move content from one Jasper Report server to another. Server Settings Various aspects of the server can be tuned by properties that control processing limits, caches, logging, and other system behavior. Attributes. Attributes let you greatly reduce the work needed to manage the server by parameterizing strings. I'll give you a quick tour of these features, starting out with the user that's logged into the application as super user. The super user has complete access to all features from the web UI. I'll start by selecting the View Repository menu to see a list of folders and their content. Based on my security access controls, I see a list of folders in the left panel. The main folders are the top level root, Organizations, which is associated to the multi-tenant feature, which is a licensed option. A public folder, which lets you add content that can be viewed by all tenants. Here, for example, you see the samples folders. Depending on how the Jasper Report server was installed, this may contain sample content that helps illustrate various Jaspersoft features. A temp folder, which is used by the Jasper Report server to temporarily store content. And a themes folder, which is used to store properties that define the look and feel of the web UI. Now let's take a look at how you set up a multi-tenant environment. The multi-tenant feature is included with trial and non-production licenses of the server. The feature is a purchasable option for production licenses of the Jasper Report server. I select the Manage Organizations menu to access the feature. The left-hand panel shows the organization structure. The default installation contains a sample organization with an ID of Organization 1. The server supports a hierarchy of organizations, so any tenant can have any number of nested sub-organizations. For example, with Organization 1 selected in the left panel, I use the Add Organization button to add the sub-organization. I enter the organization information and then hit the Add button. I then see my Tutorial Organization appear under my Top Level Organization. I could set up a separate organization structure by selecting the Root Level and using the Add button. You then see the new organization appear in the panel. The page also contains a properties panel where the super user and users defined with the tenant admin role can edit properties, including the ability to manage attributes that are specific to a given tenant or inherited from a higher level organization or root level. Let's take a look at how the newly created organizations affect the server's repository folders. You see the organizations appear in the folder hierarchy and they have default subfolders to help organize content. You also see a themes folder, which lets you set a different look and feel, such as colors and logos, for each individual tenant. Users can be defined by selecting the Manage Users menu, where users are associated to either the root level or a specific tenant. When I select an organization in the left panel, I see a list of users who are associated to the organization and any of its sub-organizations. Notice that in my newly created organization, the two default users are automatically created. Jasper Admin, who has complete access to all admin features and content within the given organization, and Joe User, who has basic access to report content within the given organization and public folder. When I select a user, I see some of their properties in the right side panel. When I edit a user, I can see and modify all their properties. An optional email, password data, whether the user is enabled to access the Jasper Report server, and most importantly, the available roles. You see the Jasper admin has a role of administrator defined. This role lets the user manage the given organization. You also see a role of user defined. This role lets the user have access to report content. I'll add a new user called demo to the organization. Let's take a closer look at roles, which define the level of access control that can be assigned to users. Roles are defined at the root or organization level, 
When I select an item in the left panel, I see the associated roles. Selecting a role lets me see what users that role has assigned. For example, the root level has a special role called Super User. This role lets the user have admin access to all content on the server. You'll notice that there are three users named Jasper Admin defined. These are three different users assigned across different organizations. A mouse over will show the associated organization. You'll also see that my newly created demo user by default is assigned to the demo role. I can delete this role or add additional roles as needed. I'll go back to the Manage Users page to show you how to test a user's properties with the Login As feature. This simulates the user experience for the selected user. They will see any UI theming per the user's organization. If there's a default home page based on a role, for example, a dashboard, and what objects the user can see across various pages. When I log out, I revert to being logged in as the super user. Access controls to the Jasper Report Server Repository are defined by role or by user. I'll go back to the View Repository page and show how a right click on any folder lets the admin set permissions. Permissions range from no access to admin rights to read, write, and execute only control. Permissions can also be set on individual objects. For example, setting permissions on an ad hoc view. I'd like to finish the last segment of this video by walking through a few admin related features. The Jasper Report Server provides an import export facility that comes in handy when you need to create a copy of server content and move content from one Jasper Report Server to another. You can export individual objects or folders to an export file. The exported file is a compressed zip file located in the local file system. You also have the ability through the Manage Server Settings menu to export the entire content of the server, where you have the ability to export certain types of content. Use the Import menu item to bring exported content into the server, where you have control over how to import content. The Manage Server Settings page also lets administrators set properties for various configuration points. Note that in addition to properties available through the UI, there are many other properties that can be set in the Jasper Report Server configuration files. These are described in product documentation. Through the UI, you'll find properties for activity logging, settings that control the behavior of the ad hoc designer, settings that affect the deployment of the Jasper Report Server and cloud providers, and server level attributes. As you've seen throughout this video, you can set parameters at the tenant and user level. Parameters can also be set at the server level through attributes. For example, I can add an attribute that defines a value for a database connection string. The attribute is then used when defining a data source. The value of the attribute can then be set to different values between dev, test, and production deployments of the Jasper Report server. This concludes the multi-tenant and admin overview tutorial. To find out more about various topics covered in this video, refer to online help and Jasper Report server documentation that can be found with the software installation and on the community.jaspersoft.com website.